Welcome to My Naked Kitchen. My name is Denovan Miranda and I'm the executive chef for SLS Lux in Miami. But today we're here at the beautiful Grand Resort and Spa in Fort Lauderdale. Today we're making gyoza. I have this beautiful stuff on from JJ Malibu. It's getting kind of warm though, so I think I'll take this off. I'm starting with one and a half pounds of ground pork. To that, I'm gonna be adding one and a half teaspoons of soy sauce, a tablespoon of garlic, a tablespoon of ginger, a couple tablespoons of sugar. This is a miso paste, which is a fermented soybeans, three quarters of a cup of chopped cabbage, two tablespoons of chopped leeks, two tablespoons chopped chives. This is potato starch, or you can use cornstarch if you can't find potato starch. And we're gonna add that, that's gonna help bind everything together. Two tablespoons of sesame oil. The egg, which will help keep all of this nice and together for our filling. And I just like to season it with a little bit of salt. So we just want to get everything mixed together. You can get in right, right in there, get your hands a little dirty. It's kind of fun. Gyoza are the Japanese word for like basically a pot sticker dumpling. And we have our filling. So this is dumpling wrapper. You can pretty much get this. I think most Whole Foods will carry it. Uh, you can also find it on Amazon or even like a specialty uh, Asian market. You're going to take one, kind of hold it flat in the palm of your hand, and then I'm going to take a little bit, about like a heaping teaspoon of the filling, get it right in the middle, a little uh, wet edge just with plain water on a half side of that, pretty much pinching one corner, and then you crimp and you pinch as you go around. And I just go around again, make sure it's nice and sealed. What's great about them is that you can actually get them in the freezer and they um, last for a while. So you can make these in batches ahead of time. This recipe actually makes 60. We have 30 so far. I have a pan here that's about medium high heat. I like to use uh, canola or vegetable oil. So you just wanna make sure your pan's nice and hot. And I'm just gonna start by placing our dumplings inside. Make sure you don't overcrowd your pan. So you just want to kind of get them started frying and really kind of begin to develop a crust on the bottom. That way after they're steamed that crust can continue to get more crispy. So like when I check underneath them a little bit you're going to see it's like blistering and starting to crisp up. That's a good point to add a few tablespoons of water. Now we're going to cover them. They take about three to five minutes just so that the filling is completely cooked inside. All right, so these have been steaming now for about five minutes. I'm gonna remove the lid. Remember, always remove the lid away from you so that the steam can dissipate. Then we're gonna let the water evaporate and uh, then we're gonna pan fry these bad boys up, make them nice and crispy and yummy. If you wanna change this recipe, you can use ground chicken, ground beef, uh, ground turkey if you want. Make sure they're not stuck to the pan. So you want to pan fry them for about two to three minutes until they can develop a nice crispy uh, golden brown crust. I like to give them a little flip and just get the other side kind of going so that you have an extra crispiness because I think it's extra yummy that way. So now you can see you got a nice crispy side on there and they're pretty much ready to serve. I do like serving it with a dipping sauce. My favorite is a little soy sauce, rice vinegar, a little chopped garlic, and sesame oil. And you can actually put a little hot sauce or whatever you like. Now let's try these bad boys. Now let's try these bad boys. A little dipping sauce. Mmm. So good. Well, thanks for watching My Naked Kitchen. I hope you try this recipe and taste these delicious dumplings. If you want to see more of me, you can follow me on Instagram at fitchefsobi.com. That's fitchefsobi, not .com. Just fitchefsobi. <laughs> Stay tuned for my next episode where I'm going to teach some hot guys how to make some sushi. Thanks for watching My Naked Kitchen.